Greetings and welcome back to the EV Emerald Steel Monotype. So, uh, last time we explored the Battle Frontier and the Desert Underpass. And, uh, well, I guess this time we're gonna start off with a bang. Let's catch ourselves a lot of yas. You're mine, bitch. Get in the ball. That's kind of the whole point you get the Master Ball. It lets you catch the roamers. And, uh, hmm. Oh, it's pretty obvious what I'm gonna call this. Yep, naming it after the chick from the movie. Oh, yes, I just remembered. There's one last challenge at the Trick House. Nope, not here. Under the cushion. Okay, so this is an ice puzzle, pretty much. And I've left most of my team back at the, uh, back at the PC. Because I'm using pickup on some of these Pokemon to try and get more rare candies, just to make it a little easier to grind for the Steve of Battle. And that gets us the passcode, so let's go back here. That's this way, this way, this way. Now from here, you gotta go up this way, um, I think. It's this way. Yeah, there's an item over here. This is the bead mail. What this does is it inclu includes the sprite of the Pokemon that was holding the mail, if I recall correctly. And you're gone. Anyway, so... Hmm. How does this work again? Because the trick is I gotta get into that pocket right there. Ah. Oh, I see how to do it. It's easy. This way. Go down. And then up here. Honestly, this is probably the easiest challenge he's come up with. I'm kind of disappointed. And now... He wishes! And we have finally stumped the Trick Master. Suck it. Uh-huh, sure. What are healthy sleep at night, sir? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna pick... Uh, red's my favorite color. We'll go with red. So, yeah, the tent depends... In Ruby and Sapphire, you get the red tent in Ruby version, and the blue tent in Sapphire, obviously. So, that's the end of the Trick House. Okay, so now we're back here in Fortree City. Because there's another thing I can show you guys. Although, actually, first of all, I don't think I ever got rid of this Tachyon. Let's take care of that. There was nothing here. Never mind. So now that you have Waterfall, you can go up here. Uh, right, I need to go get a Pokemon that has Waterfall. Be right back. All right, once more with Feeling. And this lets you go up here. First things first, you go here and you get Hondu Berries. Which, in Ruby and Sapphire, those are just rare berries. In Emerald version, you can use it to lower the effort values of a certain stat. Which one is it? And it'll also boost the happiness of the given Pokemon. Yeah, it lowers your special attack effort values. And now... 
For fuck's sake, I could have sworn I had the acro bike. Be right back. All right, now let's go and take care of this. Third time's the charm. And now we have the acro bike. We can actually cross this. This is basically the last point which the acro bike is actually useful. First things first, you get a nugget up here. Is there anything at the end of this? Yes, there is. So you can have actually two different secret bases over here. That one's a dead end, but you hop over here. There's another rare candy. Now, coming back to the Weather Institute, there's actually something that you can see at the end of the game. Which, well, you wonder where Groudon and Kyogre went? This is where you find out. First, you start off finding Groudon, and then after you've gotten Groudon, you can go and get Kyogre. If you don't catch them the first time around, don't worry. Just beat the Hall of Fame again, and they'll respawn. Route 115. So, you want to go to that route, and you want to look for a cave. Now, it is timed. I believe it's timed by how many steps you take before the cave just disappears and moves on. Terra Cave is the easier one to find. Marine Cave is a bit harder because you have to find certain dive spots. On to Rustboro City. As you can see, there's harsh sunlight. Yeah, I've got a lot of rare candies. I'm saving those up to uh, get my Pokemon to the right levels to fight Steven. You're going to want Pokemon in the 70s. Well, to be safe about it anyway. Okay, so it's not here. You want to keep going north. I think there's a couple different spots on each of the routes that could appear where the cave can spawn. Okay. Oh, don't tell me it's in the area that needs the mock bike. God damn it! I hate this mechanic. Damn, am I glad that in Generation 4 they combined them in the one bike. Yep, knew it. Here it is. I don't know, I don't think there's any items in here. But you just follow this to the end. And then... Go down... Here. And Groudon should be over here. Now be sure to save first, but if you don't, again, not the end of the world. Because, again, to beat the Hall of Fame, it'll respawn. Level 70. Mm-hmm. I didn't think about that. I probably should have, in hindsight. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We are just going to run you out of power points for Fire Blast. Oh! Right, you could just do that with Fisher. Right, just, you know what? Fuck you too. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, Ron likes to stall, basically.
Oh, fuck you. Eventually, it'll just run out of power points. Okay, I gotta be careful now, because I've lowered a special defense quite a bit. Well, okay. For the sake of not pissing off Toho's lawyers, this is not Gojira, this is Jira. And now that we've captured Groudon, the intense sunlight goes away and the cave disappears. Okay, so now we gotta go down to Route 125 to find Kyogre in Marine Cave. So, surfing north from Moss Deep City, we'll find that there's heavy rain. We gotta look for a dark patch in the water. And again, I think there's a couple places it can spawn. If we take too long, it'll disappear. Oh, forgot about this guy. There you are! Did I seriously forget to teach... Did I not teach Relicanth Dive? Alright, well let's remedy that. Alright. Now we follow this over here. Go up here. And we enter Marine Cave. Again, no items in here. Go down here. And in that pool is Kyogre. Alright, here goes nothing. Anyone else knows the pattern looked like Swampert's face? I forget, does Kyogre know Thunder? I think it could. I know it learns it by TM, I forgot if it learned if it can learn it by level up. Because if it can, well that's Oh well, okay. You're gonna be like that, font. Sheer cold. Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, both of them have a, have a one hit knockout move. Alright. Now, this time I came prepared. Oh, fuck off. There we go. Well, fuck you two. Now, the thing you gotta be careful about is these things don't have a lot of power points. Yeah, you would do that. Cheeky bitch. We're gonna keep on doing this until you get in the ball. It gets in the Ultra Ball or it gets zapped again. Okay, it's perfect opportunity. Nope. God 
damn it! Two. Well, fuck you, Kyogre! Fuck you! Use a net ball. It's basically an ultra ball against water types. Oh! Now you want to cooperate! Okay. If you know, you know. And with that, the downpour stops. I said the downpour stops! Thank you! And now, of course, there is only one more legendary in that trio. Well, if I caught the other two, I might as well complete the set. I'll do that with the Reggies, too. So that means we gotta go back to Sky Pillar. Unfortunately, Sky Pillar has, uh, well, it was damaged in the earthquakes. So, climbing is going to be a massive pain in the ass. Already, you can see there's a lot more debris. But it gets worse on the upper floors. Trust me. Yep, mock bike puzzles. And these are the hardest ones so far. All right. First floor done. But that's not the hard one. No, the hard one is up ahead, there's a segment where not only do you have to go a really long distance without hitting anything, but you have to stop in a precise spot. This is gonna suck. Did it! And now we go up here. Around here. Yeah, the roof is in really bad shape. And uh, we're gonna want to save before this. Hey! Hey, you! Wake up! And this thing's ability is Airlock, which disables the effects of weather. That's going to be completely irrelevant in this battle, of course. And of course, its moves are going to be Fly, Rest, Extreme Speed, and Outrage. Good thing I can still hit it when it's using Fly. Okay, yeah, we're just going to... Now that is dangerous, it can knock itself out. Hmm. No surprises there. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the fucking ball. You know, if this takes long enough, I can just use the timer ball, too, but... In fact, that's how I caught Rayquaza in Ruby version. Also, bear in mind... Oh, fuck you! YOU FUCKING IDIOT! Get in the damn... Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. Wow, just like Kyogre, you're a bitch the first time, and now you cooperate. Now, as for you, we're calling you... Genron, after the dragon from... Actually, I think it's pronounced Shinron. Uh, well, I fucked that one up. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this time. Next time, we are going to catch the other two Reggies, because what else can I do at this point? If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.